Today we're going to show you five productivity apps that you can add to your Apple iPad to help you get more things done. So the first item is WordPress. And what I really like most about this is one, it's a free app and two, I can do all of my blogging directly from my iPad. This includes uploading photos, writing blog posts, even adding some styling options. My second favorite productivity app is called Dropbox. And what Dropbox does is it allows you to store files, photos, and videos in the cloud, and then you can access them from any of your iOS devices, such as your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch, whenever you need it. Any productivity suite would not be complete without a way to edit documents and flyers. And my money's on Apple's Pages. What I love most about this app is that it's fast, it's also built by a company that makes software, and two, it also works with Windows pretty seamlessly. My fourth favorite iPad app is an app called GoodReader. And not only does this app allow you to save files, for instance, from an email or from a website into this application, but it also gives you the ability to annotate PDFs, which is something that most apps charge extra for. In addition, once you've saved your files, you can upload them to your Gmail, your Dropbox, or other account. This way, everything is in sync. My fifth favorite app is an app called Square, and it's a little different than the others because it's not just an app. There's also a credit card reader that you attach to your device. And what's great about this app is not only does it allow you to send money, but it also allows you to receive money directly from your iPad, your iPhone, etc., while you're on the go. What's great is that there's no longer you know, a need to have to track down somebody for payment. It's all done directly from the app from a mobile device. There you have it, five productivity apps to help you get more things done on your Apple iPad. One thing I wanted to quickly mention is that there is a link to download all of these apps in the description of this video. As always guys, thanks for watching.